Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Illicit Folio. And this afternoon, this weekend, we were sitting around the house wondering what are we gonna eat for dinner? And I was going through my mental list about chicken, fish, I'm over chicken, I'm over fish, I'm tired of cooking the same thing. And then I thought, why not do lamb chops? Lamb chops are so tender, they're flavorful and super, super easy. Even if this is a meat that you feel like you don't eat very often, it's way easier to cook than you think. So this afternoon, I want you guys to come along with me. Let's go inside of the kitchen over here and I will let you guys watch me make lamb chops. You can make this amazing dinner for you and your family in less than 30 minutes. And I will also link all of the ingredients um, and the instructions in my blog down below so that you can make this for your family as well. Um, before we hop into the kitchen, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you'll receive updates on when I do another video. So come along with me, let's walk over to the kitchen and uh, let's do some cooking. So the very first step will be taking salt and water and mixing these together to create what is called a brine. And the benefit of the brine is it will really open up the pores in your meat uh, once you allow it to soak for about 30 minutes or so. This step is optional, but I really, really recommend that you take the time to do it if you have it. Um, that way when you create your marinade shortly, it can really, really seep deep into the pores of the meat and your flavor will just be super bold and amazing. All right, the next step after you've allowed your lamb to rest inside of the brine for at least 30 minutes will be to season both sides of your meat with salt and pepper. I recommend using fresh peppercorn instead of the pre-grounded pepper if you have it. Uh, the flavors will just come through really, really bold after you sear your meat. So just season both sides of your lamb and set it aside so we can make the marinade. Okay, so for our next step, we're going to make our marinade. And for this step, you will need three ingredients, which are rosemary, garlic, and olive oil. For the garlic, I typically recommend about one clove per uh, a lamb chop loin, and I mince these up. And then I'll also do a rough chop on the rosemary, and I top that off with olive oil. You, After you mix all of these ingredients together, you really want to grind them together to create a paste, which will be the marinade for your uh, lamb chops. And this paste or this marinade is so fresh and it's savory and it will really seep into the pores of your meat since you allowed it to sit in your brine mixture. So once you're done uh, grinding these ingredients together and you feel that they're pretty combined, your marinade is actually ready and you're ready to apply it to your meat. So I would recommend uh, really rubbing your marinade onto both sides of your lamb chop loins and then allowing it to rest at room temperature for an hour if you have the time to do so. If not, the resting is optional. Your lamb will still turn out amazing. Uh, but when I made these lamb chops tonight for our family, I just allowed it to sit for about an hour and the flavors were super, super robust. So I would say let it rest. If you don't have the time to do so, then walk on over to the stove and heat up your pan. Alright, so for this recipe, if you want to achieve the perfect texture for your lamb chops, I recommend taking a cast iron skillet and placing this over medium to high heat and adding butter and olive oil together to be the base for your pan searing and wait for everything to melt together and your pan should be hot after very, very quickly actually. And then once your pan is hot enough, you want to drop your lamb chop loins in. If you hear a sizzle, 
great. If you don't, then that means the heat is not hot enough and you shouldn't add any more meat to the pan. But if you hear the sizzle, perfect. Add the rest of your lamb chops and begin searing and sauteing your lamb. If you have some extra rosemary left over, drop that into your pan to really create a really good rosemary butter sauce. And then tilt your pan and start to base your meat, which will really take that buttery garlic rosemary goodness and infuse those flavors back into your, your lamb chops. And once all of your lamb chops have seared for a bit and they've achieved this beautiful brown color, flip them to the other side and repeat the process all over again. The fat on your lamb chops will really start to melt and render, which really adds flavor as well. And so you want to continue to repeat this process until your meat has achieved the temperature that you want. Melt the fat and then add that goodness right back on top of it and keep repeating this process until you've achieved the temperature you want. Once you feel like your meat is almost done, feel free to top it off with some salt and pepper to taste. Here I'm taking the internal temperature of my lamb to see if how done it is. If you like your lamb to be well done, medium or medium rare, I have the conversion of these different internal meat temperatures on my blog located in the link below. And that is it, you are done. So take a clean serving plate and add your lamb chops to the serving plate. Allow them to rest and garnish for your beautiful presentation to your family. They will be amazed and think you are a top chef after serving them this amazing dish. For the ingredients and measurements and details, all of this is located below in my blog. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you soon.